In this video we will learn how to use the USGS watershed boundary datasets and filtering of feature collections or vectors in Google Earth Engine. Please note that you cannot do watershed or hydrological modeling in Google Earth Engine right now because of various limitations, but maybe in future it is possible as we have various digital elevation model datasets available on Google Earth Engine. Before we begin please make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more short and beginners oriented Google Earth Engine videos. I will search for HUC06 which is a watershed's feature collection or vector dataset provided for areas of Canada and America. You can even look for HUC05, HUC04 etc. You can read the description of this dataset. What I want to bring your attention to is the table schema. I am interested in area in square kilometers of basins. Here if you look close the data type is a string. You can also scroll and look for other properties that you might be interested in. I will import this dataset and rename the feature collection to HUC06. Next I will visualize the entire dataset on map, and as you can see that this dataset has watershed boundaries for America and Canada only. Next I will draw my study area boundary, you can even import a shape file of your area. As I said, that the area in square kilometers column is in the form of string, so we need to convert that to a number for every feature in the feature collection. For that we need to write a function. Please watch my video on mapping a function in Google Earth Engine before proceeding further link in card above in video description. I will call the function name as numParse. This function will take a feature as argument. Inside the function I will create a new variable num that will use the e.number.parse method for converting string into integer. Inside this parse method we will get the string from feature. As we know that a function always returns something, and that properties of every features are in the form of a dictionary or geojson, so I will tell Google Earth Engine that make a new column by the name area in square kilometers and put the area that we parsed for every feature inside it. I will use the set method for it that basically adds a key and its value into the dictionary. The key is a string and the value can be a number or any other data type. Next I will map this function over the dataset feature collection by creating a new variable watershed. Now this watershed variable has our area in square kilometers column with data type number. I will filter this dataset for our study area. If I print the filtered dataset with dot size method, it will tell me the number of watersheds from this HUC06 dataset that are in our study area which are 44. To filter conditionally for example watersheds that have area less than, equal to or greater than a particular value we use the e.filter.eq, ltgt, lte, or gte method for it. This method requires the column name in the feature collection and the value as arguments. Here I want to filter watersheds that have area less than 10,000 square kilometers. When I run the code it gives me error, that user memory limit exceeded. I will write a smaller value and that fixes it. It shows me that there are zero watersheds that fulfills your search criteria. When I print the filtered dataset without the size method and expand every feature, the details can be seen. I will visualize the filtered dataset on map. If you learned something please like this video, for any queries write in comments or send me an email. Code link in video description. I will see you in the next one, peace.